back to focus on Fleming. Candace is joining us in Studio A to dig deeper into this story. Uh, moments ago, we just saw your latest story mm -hmm. from Fleming, and that was sort of rallying the troops, if you will. I know the principal there has been working really hard to get that, that parental, that community engagement, and it looks, it appears that it's paying off in some ways. Yeah, it's really important if you saw the reports in the story from Harvard and the National PTA, parental involvement really impact student success and achievement. So he's been working since he's been at the school as principal for four years or three years, I believe, uh, to get parental involvement. And this year, he said his, he just was nonstop and he actually is starting to see the fruit of his labor. Yeah. So if there's so many factors that go into um, a student's success at a campus, isn't, this is not just something Fleming is dealing with, this is something school districts across the country are yeah. dealing with because we're busy as Americans and it's hard to get that time off to be able to go into the school, but it's critical for our student success for a parent, parent or guardian to be involved in, in the school. Yeah, and it's also critical for, for each family, right? To have that support and to know that it's all hands right. on deck for the well being of these children. Mm -hmm. And I know um, the principal sort of gauged this through the recent open house uh, he held mm -hmm. and was just so surprised at uh, the number of turnout, Thrilled. the people yeah. coming out. Mm -hmm. He was very excited. It, it, it was a, a, a turn. He was hoping for a turn. He said he was calling people every night at 5 p.m. He said I probably was getting on their nerves. But <laughs> right. they're really yeah. at Fleming. We talked about this going for the gold, and they know in order to get that A rating, they're going to have to have. It, he said, in, in fact, he said it takes a village. Yeah. We have to have everybody it's involved, cliche, but it's not so just true. parents, but like community organizations. Yeah. And he's, if you watch the takeover documentary that we aired last or last school year, he mentioned in there that he had been doing the work calling out to organizations and people saying, hey, we need your services at this school, but he was getting no response. And he said those same people, though, if, God forbid, Fleming were to close because oh, they would be up in arms. They would be ready yeah. to pick it, which yeah. he's happy about. But yeah. he said, "Well, we still have this school. We need let's that do involvement something now. now, right?" Yeah. And he's yeah. starting to get the turnout, and he's happy about that. D does Principal Adams believe this is sustainable? Obviously, time will tell. That's a very good question. Where are his thoughts when it comes to this? He said, "Strike while the iron is hot," yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So while we have them here, what's the next thing? How can I get you involved in our PTA, which is struggling? They have yeah. a handful of parents who are involved, so. He had lots of booths there for people to sign up to for things to come be at the football games, do this, and just feel like his whole mission there was like, let's be a family. They called it the Viking Feast, and mm -hmm. they actually had dinner, and they sat like family style and talked and got to know him. He said, the more that we know each other, when I call, you know me now, yeah. and it's not, you're not, you're not anxious, you're not, what did my child do? Yeah. Is he getting in trouble? Are their grades okay? No, you expect to have a conversation with me, and if I can call you up, I can tell you the next time we need you. Yeah. you. You know who I am yeah. and hopefully we have that that open communication. It's also an opportunity for you to get to know your neighbors, right? To get to know other parents and, and other oh, parents' it's about children. Right? It's about mm -hmm. community right? and harvesting that type of atmosphere and knowing that it leads to the success, not just for the school, but for, for our own community mm -hmm. outside of school. Wow, isn't that great? We yeah. all need that connection. Yeah. And I'm really hoping that other school districts and parents and community members who see this story, because as I said, it's a struggle for everybody, but to see the importance of it and to see little things that you can do. Maybe maybe there's inspiration there where you're like, oh, I can take a little bit of that and I can take a little bit of this and let's do it for the kids, right? Let's make sure our kids are successful. Yeah, uh, I understand this morning you have a meeting with Superintendent mm -hmm. Mike Miles. Uh, what's the topic of discussion here? So we're gonna be at Fleming. Uh, we're obviously gonna talk about Fleming, but I got a lot of questions from viewers about this bond proposal, that $4.4 billion that HISD is asking voters to approve in November. So we'll talk a little bit about that and, and talk, especially with transparency, that's been an issue that a lot of people have had, uh, you know, questions about with this district that's under under a state appointment. So we'll, we'll talk about those things. I'll bring the questions that you all have asked me to his attention, and then we'll bring you his answers. And keep those questions coming. Yes. You have a concern, let Candace know. You can reach out to her, cburns. At kprc.com. I look I forward like to it. hearing those messages, and I definitely will respond back. Yeah, and we're gonna keep this an ongoing thing. I love having you here Monday morning uh, okay. when you have these reports, because it gives us an opportunity to, to have these in-depth conversations mm -hmm. after the assignment. So. Questions, concerns, uh, reach out to Candace C. Burns at kprc.com.